What's up, wrestling fans? Let the war begin on Twitter. It's begun between Matt Cardona and CM Punk. CM Punk again. We're going to go into what CM Punk said, what Matt Cardona said, and go over everything. But let me just start this video by saying the following. I sort of agree with everybody and disagree with everybody at the same time. I first want to say that I love Sasha Banks. She's always been one of my favorites. Um, and I like Naomi as well. Um, I also believe that the current re wrestling generation is soft. I believe the wrestlers are soft. Um, I also believe that the creative in WWE is awful. The creative in WWE is terrible. AEW has been somewhat mismanaged here or there, but nothing is worse than WWE. So you can see why people are snapping and losing their minds everywhere. I also want to say that, you know, in the past, superstars that you guys have loved and we've all loved that we don't call babies, like Stone Cold Steve Austin, have left the company for these things, have walked out. The heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels, lost his smile. And Stone Cold Steve Austin said, I'm not losing a Brock, I'm going home. He took his ball and went home. So this is not necessarily a new thing, 100%. So I do want to say that while I think a lot of people are more soft and baby-like nowadays, it's not that new. And some of your manly, big-time, all-time wrestler people like Stone Cold have done this as well. So I do want to say that, you know. Um, I've given crap to Tony Storm. I've given crap to Pac and all these other people. And, I, you know, while I respect everybody at the same time, I also don't think that they're all realistic about everything. But we're going to get into this first. Let's get into first CM Punk and Matt Cardona. Matt Cardona retweeted this, or tweeted this, rather. Matt Cardona taking sort of a shot at Sasha Banks. Now, Matt Cardona is always a good guy unless his father tries to put a cowboy hat on him at WrestleMania. Then it's then everything's everything goes downhill at that point. If I could go back in time, the night I was pushed off the stage in a wheelchair on Raw, I should have walked into Johnny Ace's office, placed my neck brace on the table, and walked out because I wasn't being respected enough as internet champion. So he's obviously, you know, making fun of Sasha and Naomi putting their belts on the table and whatever. Well, that that made CM Punk tweet him and respond to his tweet saying, if you could go back in time and stand up for yourself, you should stand up for workers now. And to that I say, well, CM Punk, that's very interesting. Why don't you go, why don't you just, uh, why don't, CM Punk, if you're so worried about that, why don't you go sue your best friend again for a bunch of money for no reason? Why don't you go do that, CM Punk? How about that? Maybe, maybe CM Punk, you can call AJ Styles a racist again. You know, CM Punk is a weird fuck. First of all, I, I like CM Punk, the wrestler character, the, the wrestling brain of CM Punk. And there's a, there's a part of me that likes CM Punk, too, because CM Punk seems to stand up to bullies or people that are bullying people or that have an advantage or whatever. So there's a part of me that likes CM Punk because I also like doing that. Um, but, you know, when you sue your friend over a podcast, uh, I don't know, and you call your other person a racist i mean again i just can't stop thinking about how is aj styles what did he do like you should probably tell everybody um so i i don't know what cm punk is or isn't and maybe maybe it's um maybe he once and maybe he's like me where like once i know that someone's a bad person i don't need to feel the need to go let me prove it to everybody and show you why they're a bad person and exactly what it's up i just know they're a bad person and i immediately go oh fuck that person and then other people wonder why and they go well you kind of seem like a dick and it's like nah it's a bad person and they're like why and it's like well i don't really want to take the time to explain the whole thing so maybe that's what it is that cm punk just hey listen i'm cm punk i know when someone's a shitty person F them, I don't care. But but from an outside standpoint, you don't know what why that is, so you don't know what what to do. Like so, so CM Punk says AJ Styles is racist, but I don't know what that means exactly. 
You know what I mean? Did he say something in a show as a joke? Did he was he really racist to people? Is it just because he's southern? Is it because he votes differently than you? Or like, what is the reason? Are you a homophobe because you called a, a a member in the crowd a homo or whatever? Like, so is that or or is that just a joke? So it's okay or it wasn't? It's okay, not okay now. I don't know what the rules are with CM Punk. It seems like the rules are he just hates people he hates and fuck them. And okay. So like, I don't know what to say about that. I see everybody commenting on just everyone's bringing up the race situation. People in this country are obsessed about race. This is the most racist time ever, but it's not from who you think. It's not from the typical racist people who are who are out there, by the way, and they're fucking sick assholes. But I'm talking about from the people that think they're righteous. You know what I mean? Like, now, maybe people were doing this on Twitter, and I don't know. But let me just read this guy's tweet. And by the way, this guy has me blocked. I don't even know who he is, but he has me blocked. I'm not sure who he is. Uh, he says, Pac walked out, Tony walked out, Punk walked out, Ali walked out. They were brave and fought for their creative decisions. Two black women are unprofessional for doing it, blah, blah, blah. What? I remember people fighting over Punk. Half the fans loved it. They were like, good for you, CM Punk. The other half, the fans called him a baby. Do you not remember that? Do you just pretend that? See, this is why this person is probably a racist themselves. Because, no, everyone was was giving Punk shit. Like, some people were giving him shit about it. People shamed Punk for losing in the UFC. Said, that's what you get. You thought you could be a real fighter. You, you know, half the, the fans were fighting. Half of the fans were praising CM Punk. The other half said he was a was a crybaby, took his ball and went home. Does this guy not remember that? And Tony Storm is a nobody at this point. So nobody really cares about what she does. She has a fucking OnlyFans. I shit on her. I said, good, leave WWE, you moron. You're fucking... Oh, good. Open on OnlyFans and make more money on OnlyFans and open up a Twitch and make more money on video games. That's why she left. I mean, yeah, the creative is stupid. Vince is out of his goddamn mind. And everybody running that company right now is a fucking idiot. Other than they're making tons of money off of business deals everywhere. But they care nothing about wrestling at this point. But still, we sh I shit on Tony Storm. I shit on CM Punk. Most of you did. I, sh I even shit on Pac. Now, most of you disagree with me on that, but I shit on everybody. I don't care. Oh, good. Let him go be a, like a midget flyer somewhere. Yeah, he'll really pan out as something. That's what I said about Pac. But this guy is like, oh, everybody, nobody thinks that. You're just racist yourself or weird or something is uh, something is up with you. Oh, it's because they're black that everyone has a problem. No, No, they don't. Half the people are like, Hell yeah for Sasha and Naomi, you know, quit, like, standing up for themselves. And then half of the people are like, oh, they're crybabies. That's what the people did with CM Punk exactly. Do you have, like, a brain that doesn't remember things? Do you not remember the times when CM Punk left? I mean, do we have to go watch all the videos from back when this happened? We have them. I was doing YouTube for the last 11 years now, or 10 years. We've got the videos. You want to go back and watch and watch people argue about whether Punk was a coward for leaving or was a spoiled brat or, you know, whatever. And some people even liked Punk and they got angry at him because they liked him so much and he left them and people got mad at that. So if you want to pretend that everybody just cheered for CM Punk leaving, no, they didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? But people are so insanely programmed by MSNBC and CNN and the news nowadays that they just see race everywhere. It's a race. It's a no. We're the most racist we've ever been. And it's by the people who claim that they don't like racism. They're the racist people like this person, I'm assuming. Or maybe he's just wrong. I don't know. Maybe he's got. I don't know. Maybe he's just looking at those people only. And that's what I think it is. Uh, from what I can tell, people are split. Or at least it's like 70% think Naomi and Sasha are babies. And also, this isn't the first time. This is multiple times. And guess what? People called Shawn Michaels a baby as well later on once all the truth came out. Remember? Oh, I lost my smile. People shit on him for that. People started shitting on him. I hope Undertaker beats him up. People thought he wasn't going to go out at WrestleMania 14. Remember that? 
But in the end, Shawn Michaels, you know, was less of a was was a pain in the ass. People shit on him for that. People shit on Stone Cold for leaving on Brock Lesnar too. But he did get covered up the most. However, the first couple times that Sasha Banks did this, the WWE covered it up. They tried to cover it up that way that I don't know to protect her probably to protect their investment in the in the wrestler. I'm assuming. So you know the funny thing is that WWE tried to do the right thing by the wrestler, even when she walked out on him the last couple of times. I think they tried to do the right thing from what I can tell. You know, like oh, let's just pretend this didn't happen. All right, when you're ready, come back. We'll get it back going. Uh, but this time they said f it. We're telling everybody. Yeah, they walked out. They walked out. Fuck it. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe CM Punk is right. And, you know, there's a little bit of a beef going on with him and uh, Matt Cardona here. But once again, like I said, I mean, are you really going to tell other people how they need to treat other wrestlers when you call AJ Styles a racist and you say that and you sue your fucking supposed best friend ever over a podcast. I mean, unless unless Cole Cabana is a scumbag, I don't. Maybe Cole Cabana is a scumbag. You know, I I'm trying to think of who Cole Cabana has ever called a bad person. The only person that I've seen Cole Cabana have a real life beef with is CM Punk. I don't know anybody else. I don't know who Matt Cardona's had a real life beef with besides CM Punk at this point. Maybe he has. I don't know who's had a real life beef with CM Punk before or who's ever called AJ Styles a racist before, but CM Punk has. So I assume AJ Styles doesn't really like CM Punk now since CM Punk called AJ Styles a racist. So is AJ Styles a racist? What I'm trying to... You guys know all the people that always say AJ Styles is a bad person, right? You guys know how Big E Langston and Xavier Woods, The New Day, and all the other current wrestlers in WWE, they all know about how AJ Styles is a bad person racist, right? Or or is it wait, or or is it just CM Punk that knows that? Oh, is it just Punk that knows that, or is that everybody? Or is just Punk the only one man enough to call out AJ Styles or Huh. I don't know. I've never heard of AJ Styles really having much of a beef with anybody, but he does have one with CM Punk. CM Punk has a beef with AJ Styles and Triple H and Matt Cardona and tons of people. Uh, I don't know. I wonder who's the problem. Anyway, um, if you guys leave a super thanks down below with your comments, I will pin it to the top of this video so hopefully uh, you guys feel free to do that if you want leave a comment leave a like holy shit my god my intro music just scared the hell out of me uh leave a comment leave a, a message leave a like do whatever you can shout out to yesterday's uh top uh thanker on my other video it was ghost from the coast dropping the 999 so we pinned his tweet uh his uh rather his comment to the top of the video um i'm joe cronin do you agree with me do you disagree you can disagree, and if you disagree well enough, I might actually change some of my opinion on some things and maybe make a follow-up video. That's what people do when they realize they're wrong, potentially. I could be wrong about a lot of things in this video. These are just my opinions and takes based on what I'm seeing in real time. I could be wrong. I could be crazy. Again, the weird thing is I like everybody involved. Everybody I've mentioned in this video, although I could have some harsh criticisms and takes on some things for them, I generally seem to like everybody that I'm speaking about. Um, it's just some of the hypocrisies that I'm, you know, kind of bewildered about. All right. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day and subscribe if you're brand new for more of this content.